Regardless of your intentions, Mr. Donovan, you and Mrs. Ryan have attempted to perpetrate a fraud on this court. Moreover, you did so for the purpose of trying to retain custody of a child to whom you have no biological claim. Sir, raising Johnny as my son is what his mother wanted. I promised her. I'd take him into my heart, my home, and at all costs I'd protect him. Be that as it may, it is the opinion of this court that it would be best in this matter to start from scratch. What does that mean, Your Honor? That means I am rescinding the current custodial agreement and awarding full custody to Mr. Montgomery, the child's biological father. You can't do it. Uh, Mr. Hughes, my office will be in contact with you to uh, sign the papers. This case is closed. Thank you, Your Honor. Wait a second. Thank you very much. Judge Berlin, wait. Wait a second. Judge! You son of a bitch. I'll pick up my son at the farm in one hour. Have him ready. Okay, like, I don't want to do this unless this is something like you really want to do. I really, really do. The more I think about it, the more I want to capture every moment of us trying to have our baby. All right. All right, count me in. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Oh. She didn't mean the every moment comment literally, guys. Come on, out, out, out. What are we gonna tell Kim? Well, we just tell her that this part is private and necessary. We're gonna have to show it off, okay? Come back tomorrow. Bye. I can't believe this. Tom, isn't there anything we could do? I wanna appeal. Look, we can try, but I have to be honest with you. I don't think there's much chance that's going to work. Why not? Well, the fact that Craig is Johnny's biological father counts for a lot. What about the fact that he's not fit to raise my son? What about that? Doesn't that count, Tom? You know, I'm sorry, but I will keep looking at this, and I'll let you know if there's something I can do. Please, find a way for me to keep my son. I gotta go. Happy now, Paul. Are you pleased with yourself? Because I can't stand to look at you. You know, you are one tough lady to catch. Are you just figuring that out now? Why did you leave so fast? Hearing was over. <laughs> you couldn't bring yourself to give me a hug, say congratulations. I mean, you sat through the whole thing. Entertaining as it was. You didn't give me a chance to celebrate or to say thank you. I didn't do anything. No. Uh -huh. You supported me, Carly. Well, you're welcome. And you were right. This whole honesty angle, I didn't think that would work, but it did. I'm so happy right now I could just kiss you. Yeah, try it, and you won't be smiling for much longer. Oh, even you can't ruin my good mood. I've got my son back. Finally. No one's ever going to take him from me again. What were you thinking? You told Paul why Meg and I got married. Why'd you do that? I thought that it would calm him down. I thought that if he knew the truth, then it would keep him from doing something crazy. No, you knew he'd use it against me, and he did. You're wrong. I had no idea that he would barge into that courtroom. I'm sorry. I lost the one thing in my life that's worth living for. Give me a chance to explain. I don't want to hear it. Do you, do you even know what you've done? I told the truth. That's what I did. No, you betrayed your sister again. No. You took away the one last chance for her Please to rest in peace. You handed over her son to Craig. There is no making up for I that, didn't Paul. I didn't mean to do that. But you did. Enjoy telling Barbara that Craig is now raising her grandson. Let's go home. Sponsored by Clorox 2. Lose the stains, keep the color. I'm here for my son. Why didn't you help me? Why didn't you help our boy? Everything's ready to go in the kitchen. Sir, did you ever learn? What is, what is my problem? What it always is. 
You don't want to see Carly with another man. 